Lace knitting is a really lovely skill to work with and it looks quite complicated but once you've understood the different t terminology of the stitches it's really just a matter of understanding how they work together to create these little holes and these different lace techniques. Basically it's a combination of increase and decrease stitches and it's how the pattern's put together that makes these lovely designs. So your lace pattern will be given with a written instruction, but also it's given with a chart. And this is a, the first thing to understand when looking at lace knitting, how to read your chart. The chart always begins at the bottom right hand corner and you'll see the number here one. So that shows us it's the beginning of our row and right side facing you will read the odd numbers so right side you work your way along this row each square represents a stitch so for this stitch combination it's an eight stitch pattern repeat and then that's just repeated along your row of depending on how many stitches you have so you begin here and you work your way along to the end and then on the way back, because we're knitting back and forth and not in the round, you'll be on the wrong side, which is the even number. You'll just work all your way back along. You'll see there's no symbols in this row, which makes it very straightforward, because actually all that means is you're going to purl all the way along without any extra different stitches. Then row three, reading your symbols again. Row four, wrong side. Row five, right side, and so on, all the way along. Once you've reached the top, row 16, you just work your way back down to the beginning and start again with row 1. Alongside your chart, you will also be given a key. So like a map, these will indicate what the different symbols actually mean. So looking at our key for this pattern, the first box is empty. So that means every time you see an empty box, on the right side it's a knit stitch and on the wrong side it's a purl stitch. This black dot is purl on the right side and you'll see it's only ever written on the right side of your knitting. So that's every time you see a black dot, you put a purl stitch in. Then these diagonal stitches, it's quite important to keep an eye on which direction your, your diagonal is going. So diagonal this way is knit two together. The other way, slip, slip, knit, S, S, K. And then this is a very important symbol yarn over sometimes in patterns it says yarn on but in this one it's called yarn over here and yarn over is simply a way of making an extra stitch these stitches are decreasing because you're going to be knitting two stitches together so in order to balance the number of stitches you have in your row you have to make stitches as well i'll show you how to do that when i demonstrate and then this one is a clever symbol. It says slip one knitwise, knit two together, pass on the right side. And that's on our row five. So when we get to that, I can show you how to do that. So now let's work with our little sample. I've done a little swatch here of 23 stitches. And alongside the lace pattern, I've put two borders of garter stitch just to give an edge to the pattern and also stop the scarf rolling on the edges. So let's begin the pattern. This won't be in the chart because this is just the three stitches on the edge, which is knit, knit, knit for the garter stitch edge. And now I'm ready to read the pattern. So I'm in the bottom right corner of the chart and it's the black dot. So I'm going to do a purl stitch. Now the next symbol is the yarn over. Yarn overs you come into play when you've actually knitted the next stitch because the yarn over is going to create an extra stitch when we come to it. But all I'm going to do now is leave my yarn at the front. I can see that the next stitch involves knitting two together. But if I leave my yarn at the front of my work instead of taking it to the back, which is the normal place for a knit stitch, you'll create, I'll be creating the yarn over. You'll see what I mean. So the next stitch is the slip slip knit. So with my right needle, I'm now going to slip knit wise one, two. So that's slip slip. Then with my left needle, I'm now going to lift those two at the front, back onto my left needle, ready to knit them. Now remember my yarn is now sitting at the front and that's now going to come into play as my yarn over. So I now knit, 
that slip slip knit and take it off and there we are there you can see now that diagonal thread is my yarn over stitch looks a little bit complicated and it'll come again so I can explain it once more so now looking at my chart I'm now going to do knit 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 three empty boxes so three knits one two three now I've got another diagonal going the other direction which means knit two together so my yarn is sitting at the back in the right place and I'm going to knit these two next two stitches together so I go in front of the second of the two and knit that stitch off. So I've done my diagonal there and now I'm ready to do my yarn over again. So again, yarn over. I'm going to bring my yarn to the front. So it hasn't gone over the needle yet, but with my next stitch, which is a knit stitch, that's when you will see my yarn over comes into play. So I've now done that knit stitch, yarn over again, bring it forward. And now I'm going to do my slip slip knit stitch again. So to do that, I go slip, slip, then lift it back onto my left needle. Then my yarn's at the front, which will create the yarn over, bring it round, take it off the needle, and there's my yarn over. So let's just check if we've got the right number of stitches at this stage, because we've done quite a lot of extra yarn overs, increases and decreases. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stitches I'm hoping I've got on my needle if I'm correct. So ignore the first three at the beginning for my garter stitch border. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Correct. So I'm in the right place. So I've done my yarn over which is right and now I'm going to do my three knits one two three then I've got my knit two together again then we have the next yarn over now this is a different one because following the yarn over I've got the black spot which is the pearl if you're doing a yarn over between a knit stitch and a purl stitch, you need to think about where your yarn is placed. If I bring it forward, as I have done on the previous yarn overs, then that's that's the correct place for a normal purl stitch. So that means I won't have created that extra stitch. So I need to do an extra action with my yarn. So I bring it through the middle, and now I actually go over the needle and bring it back to the front to be in the right position for a purl stitch. So now when I pull, you'll see it's created that same yarn over as I have for all the other yarn over stitches on my row. So then finishing off that row with three knit stitches for my garter stitch. And I've completed row one of the pattern. And then what I would just do to check is just count the number of stitches and make sure I've got the same number of stitches I began with, which is 23 for this little swatch. One, 